Hey guys, it's Blade again from Cardi Security, and today we've got a brand new Kenwood DMX7722 dabs. Okay, so the DMX7722 dabs. This is Kenwood's brand new unit, and this unit has got quite a few features. So this is basically the entry level option for a wireless CarPlay and Android Auto unit. So what we'll do is we'll open up the box, and show you the contents, go through what comes in the box, and then we'll power it on, and then we'll go from there. So let's open it up. So first of all, you have your microphone, standard Kenwood microphone. This comes with a jack on one end and microphone on the other. So that will plug into the back of the unit and then go up to your headlining or sun visor. So that way someone on the other end of the call can hear you. You have your main wiring loom, so this will plug into the back of the stereo and then that will plug into your vehicle or into the adapter for your vehicle. This is called an ISO. Next, you have a GPS antenna. Now, because this is a wireless unit, this requires a GPS antenna to be connected to give you, to give you the wireless Android Auto and to give you much more accurate map locations. Next, you have this long green wire here. So this is to run to your handbrake so that it, because this unit will also do mirroring, so that you can't basically use the mirroring whilst you're driving, the handbrake has to be up. Next you have the trim that sits around the face of the stereo like this, once it's all been fitted. And then you have the instruction manual, quite a thick book of instructions, I'll be honest. Um, it's literally just in loads of different languages. Actually, there's multiple books here, uh, but yeah, it's just in different languages. So if you do get stuck, most of the information is gonna be in there. And you also do get your removal keys for the cage. And then we have the unit itself. Okay, so this is the unit out of the box. So it's quite a nice unit. Now, Ken would have gone with the more flush design with this particular unit, uh, rather than having physical buttons along the bottom. Uh, this then means that you have a 6.8 inch display rather than the normal seven inch you will find on their bigger units. Uh, but don't be worried, this is still a capacitive touch screen. It's a very, very touch responsive and a very, very clear picture quality. Okay, so coming around to the back of the unit, uh, you've got all your inputs and outputs. So starting over at this end, you've got your main power loom, which we showed earlier, that's gonna be plugging in here. And then you've got a little 10 amp fuse next to that just to protect the unit. Um, up here, you have your GPS antenna input. Again, that's what we saw earlier, that's gonna be plugged in there. Uh, these two yellow connectors here, these are for, well, this one is for reverse camera input, so you can add a reverse camera to this unit. And this is for video output, so if you're adding a rear screen and you want it to show exactly what's on here, you can use that. Uh, this here is for AV input, so this is an audio input, so auxiliary source essentially. And moving over this side, you've got remote input, uh, so that's for a specialist steering wheel remote, um, but you can attach that to the harness that comes in the box. Uh, this is an AVM input. Again, it's, this is a special connection from Kenwood. Here you have some fly wires connected here. So this is for your reverse wire. So this is basically, if you're adding a reverse camera, you can attach this to basically the reverse light. This gives you the switch to switch the camera over. Now, if you use a canvas module, you can usually attach it directly to that. But that basically would just mean when you put the vehicle into reverse, it will switch the screen over to the reverse camera view automatically. This is where that long green wire, which we saw earlier, that's gonna be connected to there and then go to your handbrake. This here is for your FM and AM antenna input. So that's for your radio, essentially. This is your USB extension. This is about a meter extension to go through to say your glove box or armrest. And then that's where you can plug your phone in or a USB stick for music. And then you've got here, this pink connection here is for your microphone. Um, so your mic will plug into this and then go up to your headline. Then down the bottom, we have your RCA outputs. So this has a front, rear, and subwoofer output, which is obviously controllable through the head unit. And then you have this little gold connector here, that's for the DAB. So let's get this unit powered on and we'll see what it looks like when it's on. Okay, so just so you can see the startup time of the unit, I'm gonna plug it in in three, two, one, basically. Plug it in in three, two, one, and then you'll see how long this unit will start up from completely off. Okay, so three, Two, one, plugged in. Okay, so you instantly get the Kenwood splash screen, so that's pretty good.
Okay, so this is your first screen you'll get to when you first turn the unit on. This is just basically an initial setup of the unit before you go into the main screen. Um, this won't come on every time you turn the unit on, it's literally just the initial turn on. So, uh, demonstration, you want to turn that off if you're using it in a vehicle. Uh, language obviously set to your specific language. Now if you have a rear camera, you can, you can set different settings for the rear camera on there. Um, user customized, so you can go through and customize the background before you can get into the unit. And then viewing angle, you can change that. So if your vehicle has the unit sitting quite low, you can change your viewing angle from zero to 20 degrees, which changes essentially to help you view it at a certain angle. Okay, so let's go into the unit, so you click finish. And there we go. So this is your main home screen. So very familiar home screen for Kenwood. Uh, very much like the 8020 or 8021 dabs, if you've seen those. So background is obviously fully customizable, doesn't have to be just this black. And then you can change the time and date, click on it there. You can change that to GPS sync, which will obviously synchronize it automatically. So at the bottom here, you will have your kind of quick connections to get into kind of the most used uh, applications on the, on the unit. So you've got DAB radio here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and telephone. So we'll show you the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto working in a second, uh, but let's go through the main features on the unit. So if you click this multi-dotted button down the bottom here, this will take you through into the, all the functions of the unit. So you've got, as well as the other ones that were mentioned, you've got Bluetooth audio, USB, radio, normal FM and AM radio, and then USB mirroring. Uh, you've also got these little connections down the side here, which gives you the option to quickly go onto now playing. So if you have something now playing at the moment, just in standby. You've got camera connection. So if you've got a camera fitted, you can quickly view it from there. Uh, apps and setup. And then if you scroll over, and then if you tap over like that, you go into AV input, and then you can also put the unit in standby. Uh, so it's a nice unit to use, nice and simple. Now this being one of the entry level units price wise, um, it's not going to be so as in depth as their higher end units, but perfectly fine for anyone that's looking for wireless CarPlay. Uh, we'll quickly go through the setup so you can see the settings availability. Now at the moment this is all greyed out because it's in standby, so let's quickly pop it into uh, radio for instance. And then we can go back. So there we go, so you've got a few EQ settings, main audio settings you can go through. Again, like I said, it's not going to be as in depth, uh, but it gives you the main settings you need to go through. Your display options are there, your input and output options are there, and then your main system settings are there. Now, if you need to, if you're in a certain application, you can quickly go into a menu by pressing this button just here, and then you can quickly go into uh, screen adjustment if need be, or you can go into device list for pairing another phone. So that's kind of like a quick drop down menu you can go into wherever you need to. Then obviously this is for voice control. So if you have your phone connected for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, they also use either Google or Siri. And then this is for your volume control. So it's a nice touch responsive screen, nice and bright. It's not too glary at all. It's a, it is a glass screen, but I don't imagine this would be too glaring if you've got it up on a high platform more, for instance. Okay, so because this unit has got wireless Android Auto and wireless CarPlay, I'm gonna show you how that works now. So I've got an Android phone, so we're gonna quickly show you that working. So what you wanna do is go into Bluetooth settings, find the unit on Bluetooth, so if the unit doesn't come up instantly on your phone, what you can do with this is go into Android Auto and hit pair. And then you should be able to, if you scan again, you should find it. There we go, DMX7722 DAPS. So hit pair, you got a pair on there, pair on there. Connecting for Android Auto. We're going to allow contacts. Continue on there. Allow the contacts. Give it a second to load up because it's the first time. And there we go. You've got wireless Android Auto. So, obviously, if you know how Android Auto works, you won't need to worry about this too much. But just to quickly show you, if you 
click this dotted button down here. This is all the applications from your phone that you can use. Obviously, it's not going to be everything. You can't watch YouTube or main videos through this. You can do USB mirroring on this unit, um, but this is purely for main functions such as maps and phone book and music. Okay, so we've got an iPhone here. So we're just going to show you how to connect this for Android Auto Wireless. Um, so again, if it doesn't come up straight away, what you can do is go into Menu, Device List, and hit the plus there. And that will basically search for this as well as this searching for that. So it should make life a bit easier. go 7722 dubs repair repair allow okay so as it says the gps antenna must be connected to use apple carplay wireless uh, so we'll quickly connect that up and we'll show you that Okay, so as you can see, the Apple CarPlay is all connected up uh, wirelessly. So all we had to do is just connect that GPS antenna. But there you go, you've got the Apple CarPlay all working, got all the apps that are available to use, they're all there. So as you can see, it's very similar to the Android Auto. So you can use the maps, your phone book, your music, and all other things apart from video streaming, stuff like that, uh, because it's obviously whilst you're driving. So yeah, nice unit, very touch responsive, got all the spec you would need, or, and definitely at a cheaper price point. Okay guys, so that was an overview of the brand new Kenwood DMX 7722 DAPS. So, a very, very good spec unit for a very reasonable price. So this is currently on the market at $449.99. So it's the cheapest Kenwood wireless unit on the market available. Very good spec. Obviously it's a little bit more basic than let's say the higher end units like the 8021 dabs. Um, but if you're not really looking for something too, too flashy or too technical, this is perfect for you. Um, you've got the capacitive touchscreen, which is obviously very touch responsive and nice and bright. You've got the wireless CarPlay and the Android Auto to suit your needs. You've got DAB radio, you've got Bluetooth streaming, hands-free calls, you've got USB mirroring for Android phones. Loads and loads of spec for really not that much money in comparison to other units. So uh, definitely a good choice for someone that's not after anything too flashy. So if you watch out for our next video, we're going to be looking at the JVC equivalent to this. So they've brought out uh, kind of essentially a similar unit but in JVC so we'll be doing that next but yeah that's it from me make sure you like share and subscribe and I will see you in the next video